Hey everybody, here's Bonehead after surgery. He's doing pretty well, but look at all the horse flies biting him all over the nose and in the antlers. He so, doesn't so, like them. So he doesn't like them. So nope. Bonehead, he can't have horse flies chasing him all over the place, nope. biting him until he's raw. Our bucks can't grow big antlers. Nope. And the does can't produce milk. Nope. Our does abandon their fawns, they run, they try to hide, they go in the ponds. Horse flies bother cows, horses, they're just a big problem. But look at all the blood, and they're even lined up on his antler. That's his old wound that we covered in pine tar. There's horse flies sitting on there feeding on him, all those dots of blood. So we gotta do something about horse flies. We can't spray for horse flies because it takes too strong of a chemical. We can spray for mosquitoes, but the horse flies are just too big and too powerful. So what do we do? We've tried to build a trap here, and we'll show that to you. I'm just going through what I want to say right now. So here's the trap we made. It consists of rebar, some tarp, and a screen. The reason the flyers want to go in here is because this black tub heats up in the sunlight, and it moves a little bit, and they think it's a deer that they can come attack and terrorize. So they come in here, and they try to bite on the pail, and, add, and when they find out it's not an animal, they try to fly away, but they can't fly very well level with the ground. They want to fly up and they see the screen up here as a way to get out. So they fly up here, find out that this screen is not a way out, they get confused. So eventually they find their way up through this funnel and into the jar, and then they'll die in the jar and we go dump. Okay, so we got a couple in the jar. We drilled some holes through the funnel to make it a little bit easier so they can see more daylight, encourage them to go up in the funnel. Should we take a look and see if there's any up in there bouncing around? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna lay on my back here. <laughs> So we can't have our does running from horse flies just steady. No. And we can't have the bucks running. The does abandon their fawns, they lose their milk. Stressed out bucks don't want to grow big antlers. So we got to do everything in our power to try to get rid of these horse flies. So they fly in sideways, they come to the hot bucket that's black, they hit it, they fly up into the funnel system, up into the jar, and our new creation, we've got two horse flies. We're pretty pumped about that, aren't we? And then they just kind of bake themselves to death, right? Yep. So the rest of them are just slow learners, but they're going to learn to go up, aren't they? So that's it. Yep. Take care of animals. Yeah. Are you taking care of them? Oh yeah. Double XL going to be big? Hopefully. All right. Are you still taking care of predators at all? Yeah, a little bit. All right, sounds good.